Capital Broadcasting Center DZME 1530 Ang Radyo Uno Libreng pagbibigay ng on-the-job training sa mga piling profesyon Makibahagi Let's Talk About Career Okay, kami po'y nagbabalik dito sa Let's Talk About Career Kasama pa rin natin ang um, si Miss Melissa from Victoria Court You know, uh, Rod, ang maganda dito sa Let's Talk About Career Nag-iisa tayo na nakakapagbigay also ng trabaho at information yeah, With information. regards to the career and mm-hmm. job sa ating Indes- mga uh, kababayan Weekly, we, we feature specific industries so Different like, industries, different industries industry. diba? Nakakatuwa talaga And meron din tayo mga tinatawag na career on the spot So yeah. ngayon nga, itong career on the spot Actually, careers dahil napakarami dito sa mm-hmm. pinag-uusapan natin so ngayon also uh, maldaku tayo sa food preparation workers. Oh, kasi I think iba to sa from the usual the one that's you know handling the services. Pero ito meron pang mga restaurants or food preparation workers. Na hindi pwedeng mawala. Yeah. Ayan. So apat itong nandito sa food preparation workers mm-hmm. natin na ta- parang types o pwedeng maging trabaho kung ikaw ay gusto magtrabaho dito sa hotel and restaurant industry. So ang una nga po meron tayong chef. Number two, cook. And then number three, baker. And lastly, we have the food preparation staff. Itong chef at talaga nagbibigay ng napakagandang lahat. Oh, like oh, flavor, lahat. design. Ako, la- I, make, I make it a point na pag nag-review ako ng hotel, minimit ko talaga yung chef. Yung chef. Para meron akong... Meron silang insight eh, kasi I'm sure meron talang silang gusto sabihin about the menu, about what they prepare for today. Ikaw palagi kang showbiz. Napakarami pati ngayon nasa showbiz ang nagiging chef. Oh, oh, Sama ba they, si Judy and Santos? Oo, oh, oh, they're trying all uh, cul- culinary uh, lessons, nagtatry sila lahat. Kasi ano eh, fun talaga magluto. Pero oh, oh. iba itong mga chef natin sa hotel, talagang may mga credentials sila na talagang before sila maging chef ng isang hotel, ay nasala talaga sila. May exam ba ito? O how many like my units? Yung may course ba ito? Or like two years kailangan may training? O sige, tanong natin si Ms. Malaysia. <laughs> right. Ano yung requ- yes. um, qualification para maging isang chef? Okay. Iba't iba po no, yung category kasi may mga uh, May mga head chef, may mm-hmm. sous chef, oh, may mga ganun pa yun eh, no? Different kinds, may chef de party, yun yung mga yeah. sa uh, desserts, okay? Mm-hmm. Ano ba pinagkaiba ng mga, uh, mga chef? No? Actually, the difference, if um, if you're really the head chef, talagang overall kitchen, ano na yun, management mm-hmm. na siya, na lahat, oh, hot and cold, kanya na lahat yan, salads. Um, Pero sa, sa Victoria Court, our chefs are multitaskers. Mm-hmm. So, they're expected to do both yung hot and cold kitchen. Sila talaga yung preparations. We have kitchen helpers to help them sa miss and plus. Yun yung parang mga, syempre, dapat nakahi, nakahiwa na yung mga bawang, oh, for example. Oo, oh, hindi mo naman pwedeng pagka-order dun pa lang. So, parang naka, naka-prepare na siya ahead of time yung mga ingredients para pagdating ng order, mas madali nang mailuluto. Pero in terms of the lineup sa mga hotel, ano yung mga, sino yung nagde-decide for the menu? Is we it? have, um, in our company, it's the F&B manager ah, who so does it, together with our assistant R&B manager. Ah, okay. So, mm-hmm. um, gaano katagal? Kung paano na i-insure ng hotel na dapat fresh lahat yung mga naluluto? Or ano yung uh, standard procedures ninyo sa, sa mga... Sa company, we have um, inspection no, by the kitchen supervisors every now and then. So, we're following mga critical level ng stocks. Yeah. Kailangan di mauubusan yon, kasi hindi mo masasabi kung kailan na order rin ng guest yung pagkain yeah. sa menu. Tapos at the same time, um, we also follow yung uh, um, parang inspection ng mga... Um, item so dapat hindi ka hindi na siya expired mm-hmm. so we follow yung mga FEFO first yeah, kasi, expire first out oh critical kasi yung mga ano yeah yun. and yun yung pinaka ayaw mong mangyari no serving um, substandard food kasi may direct impact sa health ng kakain yon oh saka hindi lang ano eh minsan kasi talagang akala mo okay na yung food mo tapos so hindi insure din yun ng chef chef din ba ang nag-insure? yes oo oh, oh. kailangan nilang tikman bago talaga lumabas kasi Rod sa totoo lang di ba Melissa meron talagang minsang na i uh, nalabas oo oh, oh, nilalabas na talagang medyo panis yung iba so ano mm-hmm. kaya nangyayari dito yung by intention talaga ng ibang restaurants ha? kasi uh-huh. talagang nangyayari yun for I, I believe ma, na, naka-experience na rin kasi ako yes. dun no, sa mm-hmm. mga um, ex- restaurants that I've ano went to 
Um, I think yun yung ka- kawalan ng in terms of ano yung tinatag na quality control. Inspect oh, oh, for oh, oh. what, what they're That's very important for kitchen and that's something that we are proud of sa lahat ng brands namin in Victoria Court, in Best Western, Hotel La Corona. We have um, a standards to follow in terms of food. Very, very critical kami dyan kasi alam namin yung feeling nung mm-hmm. Yung may, pa, may mga food poison, yeah. yun yung isa sa mga ayaw namin mangyari. That's mangyarin. true. Saka unang-una pa, ang pinakagustong gusto ko na naatin ng event last time, under, when you launch your brand ambassadors, yes. ang sarap ng pagkain talaga. Oo. Oh, oh, As in, oh, oh, totally. Oo. Oh, oh. Ngayon, pangalawa, itong pag-uusapan natin is yung cook naman. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. O, oh, iba pa ito dun sa chef, di ba? Kala natin yung chef siya nagluluto. Ano pero yung cook? Yeah. Yung chef ano can difference? also cook. Okay. okay. Uh-oh, may instances lang na si chef is overseeing everything. Okay. Uh-oh, for bigger hotels, mga ano yan, mga executive chef na, no? Yeah. Uh-oh, depends. Pero sa amin, um, we have mga head cooks, ganon, yun yung yeah. mga senior ones and Uh-oh. the cooks. What we are very proud of sa aming, uh, sa, sa pool of manpower that we have now, very competent tong mga taong to. They've been winning awards, uh, Chef on Parade, and competing yeah, with other five stars. Pero itong mga cooks nyo ba ay may mga specific silang dapat ito lang yung niluluto nila or gano'ng kadami yung cooks na hinahire nyo for a specific specialty, for example? Yes, kasi he me- uh, she mentioned the 800 yung employees nila. Oh, oh, mm-hmm. Sobrang dami talaga nun. Yeah. Mm-hmm. For oh. each shift, dapat meron tayong isang cook na naka-station. No? Um, kapag uh, mas peak o pag paggabi, no? Yan, kasi yung peak um, hours, Yes. of the operations mas marami yung pumapasok so nagiging pwedeng lima okay oh, hanggang anim sila sa kitchen kasi ang order sabay-sabay din That's na dumadating That's true minsan nagsasabay-sabay Oo oh, matanong ko yung mga cook and chef na to ano yung requirements qualification nila para let's say gusto si mga gusto mag-apply ano ba yung dapat na natapos nila Okay very particular kami sa experience Oh ah, experience Syempre dapat may experience Anong ka na minimum? as cook something like that yeah. three years Three okay. years wow. talaga na wow. hands on talaga mm-hmm. Yes for kitchen helpers the were open Mm-hmm. sa parang fresh grad kahit oh, very lang, minimum pa lang sila magkakaroon ng experience. Oo, oh, oo, oh, oh. saka kasi assistance assistance pa lang naman yung gagawin. So kailangan HRM graduate talaga. Doesn't have to be may mga culinary courses tayo na one year lang, oh, two oh. years you lang. Oo, accept this. Oo, oh, uh, best applicant? experience is is actually must preferred kasi ang cooking, ang kitchen very skilled position. Yeah. So you're after the skills, no? So hindi talaga basta may nag-apply, tanggapin ka agad. Hindi. Meron bang may trade tao- test kami. Wow. Mm-hmm. Okay. So they do actual cooking. Mm-hmm. Yeah, although I think sa lahat din ng hotel that that's a practice din. Uh-oh. Dapat, Uh-oh. dapat. Kasi Uh-oh. hindi mo pwedeng sabihin sa interview lang marunong ako magluto. Yeah, yeah. Basta maalam din ako. <laughs> Pero oh, pinag-aaral yeah. sila, pinagte-test niya sila sa hotel yes. or ano. Yes, yes, oo. Ah, okay. They're being graded uh They will put inside the kitchen, tapos may s- certain instructions lang na sasabihin sa kanila. Tapos from there, you observe na yung behavior nila, paano sila gumalaw sa kitchen, mm-hmm. kung paano nila luto, yung lasa ng luto, presentation, lahat yon. So yung accuracy, yung speed nila, yes. nakasama din oh, sa, oh, sa oh, oh. Makikita siya during the trade test. Okay, so basta may experience ka, doesn't have to be an HRM graduate. Yes. As long as you have a, you know, a certificate in oh. culinary, pero malaki yung range ng experience mm-hmm. mo. Pa, we pa, have pa. a very good cook, pero ano siya, undergrad siya ng mga architecture, means an engineer, ang layo, no? Oh. Pero pagdating sa skills in cooking, talagang Magaling panalo. Talaga. Oh, oh, si Grace mo. Ano yun? Interesado ka ba? Interesado na? ako maging cook. Anyway, a time check, it's 4.41 in the afternoon. At sa gusto pong sumali sa aming talakayan yeah. sa ngayon, ito po ang number na pwede kayong mag-text. It's 0975-1368. At pwede po kayong tumawag sa 861-6947. At sa mga nanonood sa atin sa live stream at sa gusto pa tayong makita on live stream sa internet, www.radiouno.com.ph Yes, yeah, so pag-usapan natin ngayon itong baker. Kasi under Victoria Court, natikman ko talaga, napakarami nilang pagkain. Okay, I'm very sure, yes, na under this baker. How many bakers do you have? We have three. Okay. Wow. Okay. We have three bakers. One head baker, so mga four sila in the department. Um, sila yung gumagawa no, ng 
from uh, zero hanggang sa parang end product uh -oh. na nung item. Pero minsan, di ba, may mga hotel, I'm not sure if it's really for, for Victoria Court. Yung ibang hotel, parang meron third party uh, concessionaires para to buy. Parang outsource. Oh, outsource na. Ano. Sa Victoria Court, you have your own bakers doon. Internal ba lahat? Oo, oh, oh. galing yan ng central kitchen namin or yung commissary. Ah, so nandun sila lahat. Ano yung ano, um, Ilan yung baker na dapat nandun sa hotel mismo? Kailangan so, ba meron? Nandun din sila? Ah, wala sila dun wala sa sila mismong properties. Yun, oh. Oh, nandun sila sa head office kasi nandun yung commissary namin. So they're the ones namin. doing the pastries yes. and bread. Yes. Okay, uh -oh. tapos siniship na lang. deliver na lang sila. Ah, okay. So, okay, let's go back to hotel and restaurant management naman as a course. Mm -hmm. So, why do you think there are so many students right now? Napakaraming estudyante ngayon ang nag -e enroll mm -hmm. Meron ba tayo tinatawag na industriya talaga na maibibigay o trabaho dito sa mga estudyante kapag sila gumaraduate? Okay, so, um, I think yung mga estudyante mismo nakikita na nila yung possibilities no, of, of careers no in the hospitality industry. Kasi when you say hospitality industry, ang dami. Hindi lang hotel, pwede mong pasukan. Pwede yeah. ka mag-cruise line, which is also oh, part of hotels. Yeah. Diba? Yeah. Oh, oh. They get to travel for free sometimes, di ba? Uh, because of their work. Um, may mga events management din siya na tinatawag. And ako, with the projections of DOT, kasi they're projecting na they're about um, 51.6 million domestic travelers and 4.7 tourists na dadating by 2016. Okay, so malaking so, market ito. Yung, yung market na yon ang tinitignan ngayon ng mga hotel businesses um, in expanding their rooms. Mm -hmm. In fact, nasa 11,000 yung mga bagong, pinapagawang mga bagong kwarto. Oo. Oh, well, oh, ako din nakikita hotels. ko maraming kinoconstruct na mga ano, ngayon, buildings for hotels. Oo, oh, oh, maraming, maraming ring magbubukas Um, by 2015 until 2016. So the industry is really booming. Yes. In, pataas yung, ano, yung Totoo. graph niya. Oo, oh, kasi yung tourism natin, ang target, uh, if I'm not mistaken, ng Department of Tourism, like 12 million um, for this coming 2015. Yes. So, we're the one preparing mm -hmm. sa ngayon oh, oh. Uh, para dito sa industry na ito, para sa mga darating na mga tourists. Yes. Ayan, at sa mga mag invest of course, dito sa Pilipinas. That's true, yes. Mm -hmm. Ano pala yung ano, kasi halimbawa, sobrang dami ng ano, paano nyo ina-accommodate yung sobrang dami na occupancy nyo punong-puno? Kapag 100% na yung occupancy, wala ka ng choice, iba bump off na yung tawag, na bump off mo na yung guest, tinatransfer mo sa ila, sila sa ibang hotel. Mm -hmm. Um, So, temporarily, parang dun mo sila lalagay. Kung talagang they prefer your hotel, babalik sila kung kailan ka magkakaroon ng libreng uh, oh. kwarto. Okay, oh. so, ang Victoria Court, meron din silang reservation yes. uh, officers, di ba, for, uh -oh. for those uh -oh. who uh -oh. want to. Paano pag halimbawa, ako gusto ko mag-walk in, pero ito talaga, ba, gusto ko talaga yung Victoria, Victoria Court. Tapos mag-reserve, uh, meron pa naman kayong room, pero na-reserve na siya. Sino yung pinaprioritize mo? Um, syempre, kung may reservation, yung reserve. Yung reserve Kasi we na. respect yung prior booking to that. Ano to? Pencil booking? Nakailangan na nakabayad na sila? Or ano yung, paano yung... Usually, we ask for down payment. Ah, okay. Oh, so to guarantee. Sure, oh, oh. sure booking. Oo, kasi mahirap din na yun nga, parang hindi mo pwedeng i-guarantee dun sa nagpapapencil oh, book lang na walang ibang pupunta. So, yes. napakabilis talaga rin road, Melissa, ng ating time. Right oh, now, it's 4.45. Alam mo yun, napakabilis na isang oras. Nag-request kami madagdagan. Oh, di ba? Oh, yes. Sandaya pa talaga natin pag-uusapan. Oo. Oh, oh. Okay, sa mga bago pong nakikinig sa ngayon, ang aming pong pinag-uusapan ay dito naman po sa category ng food preparations workers. So, nandito yeah. nga po yung chef, cook, baker, and the food preparation staff na according nga po kay Melissa from Victoria Court ay katulad ng chef. Minsan siya na rin nag, nag prepare Yan, multitasker talaga. Yeah. So, meron din po tayong cook na it's like para nag assist na rin sa chef. Kapag mm -hmm. lalo na kung napakarami yes. ng orders. At of course, yung baker, yung specialized naman sa pag -pre prepare ng mga pastries. Yes. So, ngayon naman po ang pag-usapan natin ay etong food and beverage attendance. Okay. So, we ano have three. Yes. So, we have waiter, bartender, and receptionist. So, I'm mm -hmm. sure napakaraming waiter sa sa inyo. Yes. Right? Oo. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, oh. So, ano usual at saan-saan nakadestino? Kasi, yung restaurants, 
of course, itong mga hotel nyo, may mga restaurants kayo. But how about here under Victoria Court? Sa Victoria Court, it's room service. So we still have waiters. Ah, sila okay. yung from kitchen, nandiyan na sila, yung station nila, nakaabang, katabalagi niyan kitchen. Mm -hmm. So nandun na yung mga gamit and they prepare the food and they deliver the food as fast so as they can. So ilan yung dapat na nakaabang lang for, uh, for certain shift? For lean shift, uh, which is morning mm -hmm. um, or yung mga pamadaling araw, kaya yon kahit isa hanggang mm -hmm. dalawa. Pero pag peak uh, hours, like, like 12 ano yung noon, yung mga pa lunch at uh -huh. dinner, kasi yun yung maraming umu-order, kailangan at least tatlo. Ah, okay. So mm -hmm. kaya pala talaga, misan pala mo, ano, no, dahil pala talaga nakaredy ng mga waiters. Yes. Mayroon din tayong tinatawag na bartender. Mm -hmm. ba? Ito yung minsan nakikita natin na naghahagis-hagis ng mga bars. Yeah, yun sa bar, mga... yung mga oh, ang galing oh. nilang mag-mix ng oh, mga liquors. Mayroon ka bang like, uh, favorite na bartender, something like that, sa mga naaatinan mong events? Ako, um, Ako, baka may magselos. <laughs> Pero marami, magagaling talaga sila lahat. Uh -oh. so, um, so, ito pang bartender na to, ito rin yung gumagawa. Sila din yung nagmimix. Oo, oh, sila din yung nagmimix talaga. For example, you want a rum with a mix of something. Uh -oh. alam, alam nila talaga yung mga ano. Okay. Saka, eh, eh, pagka ikaw talaga yung regular ano, alam na, minsan natatandaan nila. Doon ako humahanga eh, yung natatandaan nila yung kinds of drinks na iniinom mo. Ah, para talaga? So, para talagang nakakalala ano, nila? Wow. Parang kailangan required talaga yun sa mga bartender. Kasi parang front frontliners sa na sila. Sa dami Oo, ng kanilang of, ano. uh, nagagawa ng drinks na gano'n, naaalala. Na pa Baka naman, Rod, ikaw lang ang naaalala. Something like that. Hindi natin alam. Kasi <laughs> yeah. talagang iba, natatandaan talaga nila. Doon talaga ako hanga sa mga bartender. Oo, kahit napakarami pating... Uh, yung mixtures no oh. natatandaan nila yes so sa under ba ng company mo Melissa so ano ano ba ang ginagawa nitong bartender na to well it's the same no they they mix the drinks na no? order ng mga guests mm -hmm. um although kasi ang ang market if it's uh mga Pinoy, we're not into yung mga yeah, mixed mga drinks mixing. eh oo more on beer Actually, oh, mas malakas beer. siya. Pag Pinoy, more on beer. Mm -mm. And even foreigners sometimes, oh. they prefer beer over... In the morning pa nga eh, no? Oo, oh, oh, ano. oh, oh. they yeah. prefer beer over yung mga mixed cocktails. Mm -hmm. So are you suggesting ba na um, like the students ay magpo-pursue pa rin uh, to become a bartender? O hindi naman required na makatapos ka ng college to become a bartender? Internal kayo, no? Sa, ba sa bartending. Yes, yes. Um, actually, uh, the government, uh, they have an arm, TESDA. They, ah, they have uh, mga certifications ah, yeah. into May bartending. Curriculum sila After you finish that course, kahit high school graduate, pwede ka mag-TESDA, ma-certify ka, then you can be a bartender na um, sa pwedeng hotels with bars, mm -hmm. usually yan yun. O kaya, no, talagang mga bar and restaurants. Oo, yun mga talagang mm -hmm. bar talaga, mga bars. Nabanggit mo kanina na like you don't have the receptionist, tama, dito sa Victoria Court? Uh, guest attendance. Guest attendance ang tawag. tawag. Pero mm -hmm. itong receptionist is usual sa mga hotels. Yes. Tama? So, uh, anong pagkakaiba nitong receptionist dito naman sa front desk? Mm -mm, mm -mm. Mm -mm. Kapag receptionist, there are the ones, no, the receptionist could also be the bellman kasi sila yung okay. sumasalubong sa guest. They yeah. attend to the guests. And syempre, since ang um, pre-booked yung mga guests ng hotels most of the time, uh, they greet them by first name automatically. Oh, they already knew that. They already profile ng guests. Yeah. And then, the front office naman, to distinguish the function, sila talaga yung nagpa-process ng check-in. So, mm -hmm. sila yung nagpapasok sa system, they ask for the requirements, yeah. uh, check-in, payment, settlement, oh. sila yan. O, ano requirements pala pag gusto mo maging receptionist or a front desk officer? In our company, we're very, uh, we're hiring for attitude, hindi sa skills, no? So, pag front office, we are open to fresh graduates. So, paano na may measure yung, ano, car yung attitude. Yung attitude, right? Yes. Eh, hindi uh -oh. mo pa naman napapatunayan. Wal yeah, yeah. Wala so, namang training or time spent. Yan, pa, paano nyo ginigage, yeah, something like that, minimeasure itong attitude ng isang applicant? Okay, syempre, um, the recruitment person ask questions mm -hmm. na talagang mga personality mas, questions. Oo, mas magpapalabas sa personality than the experience of the And of, of course, you have person. to get this pleasing, gano'n, di ba? May mga... Siyempre. <laughs> dapat frontline. Dapat presentable talaga. Yes. Yes. Oh. Pleasing personality, pleasing personality. as they say. Uh -oh. So, aside from that, we also have hands-on training. 
Okay. So, doon nakikita kung more or less a uh, quick learner ba to? Uh, kaya niya ba yung um, yung, sis, yung yung pressure sa system? Especially for front office kasi uh -oh. multitasking role yeah, talaga siya. Meron bang mga hindi, alimbawa, nag, for, for like a couple of months, they're doing it as a frontliners. Tapos, hindi pa rin sila nakapag-cope up. Paano yung ginagawa yung adjustments? Um, under labor naman kasi we have six months to prove yes, yung like employment. Yung probationary oh, period. So, on the third month, they usually assess the performance of the employee. Kung hindi pa rin, they begin yun another two months. No? So, kausapin yun dapat ng supervisor uh, to discuss the performance. And then, yes, yun, is. dapat mag-shape oh, up siya. Lahat, mm -hmm. Dapat mag-evolve siya as a frontline, yes. ano, abang probation siya. Question ko sa mga hotel and restaurant, kasi nag-evolve na rin ang social media. So, gano'n ka-engage ang mga hotels and uh, restaurants in dealing with customers uh, sa social media? Do you have accounts in Facebook, Twitter, Instagram to, to you know, get the customers? Yes, oh, oh, very active on Victoria Court pagdating mm -hmm. sa social media. We have Twitter, we have Instagram, we have Facebook accounts. Um, kasi you, kailangan sumaba yung business uh -oh. eh, dun sa technology. Uh, na nangyayari ngayon. And most of the time, we off, we we really get bookings online. Ah, or, oh, oh, kasi or queries online. online. Oh, oh. Gano'ng kalaki na itulong ng, ng internet and uh, social media sa, sa business? Malaki. I think a percentage of sales uh, is also coming from online travel agents, also oh. from parties uh, booked via Facebook or Instagram. Okay, so pag so, may mga customer service questions din, nasasagot din? Yes, oh, oh. it's also a requirement. Oh, yes, sagutin lahat yung mga kung ano mang tanong ang na-post doon mm -hmm. ng whoever is the interested person. Yes. So Melissa, um, may gusto ka bang batiin sa Victoria Court na nakikinig sa atin sa ngayon? Ah, uh, ayun, hello sa mga taga Victoria Court. Um, I think nag nakikinig ang uh, ang HR, no? Oo. Sinusuportahan nila ako. Oh, hello sa mga taga Ayan, HR. sa mga taga HR, no? si Lazada, ayan, si Lazanis, um si Rio and si Jane. Yes, and also hi to Tanya Liana, the and marketing si director. Yes. Hello, Tanya. Na very supportive talaga sa atin sa ating mga events. Yeah. Hi, ma'am. And we're supporting back, of course. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, so Rod, napakarami nating kaya pang discussin. The oh, only oh, problem yeah, really is the time. Ngayon, ah, pag-usapan naman natin atin sa ngayon, itong mga rates dahil napakaraming nakikinig sa atin. Bakit ba sila, sila pupunta sure. dito sa hotel and restaurant industry? Ano ba itong mga salary per region? Kasi meron tayo dito na 2012 rates. Oo. Yun, Oo. Ito yung, ang source natin ay from National Wages and Productivity Commission. I'm not sure. I'm sure kasi nag This is our minimum, right? Or yes, minimum. Yes, minimum. Oo. Kasi depende kasi yan, bawa nasa NCR ka, mas mataas talaga dyan. Mm. Ngayon, kung nasa probinsya ka, iba naman ang yeah, rate. I think it varies din sa mga hotel kung meron sila mga premium, mas mataas na sa BBI. Yes, so ito yung mga range natin. Okay. Sa NCR po, sa mga nakikinig, pa, uh, sa mga tao nakikinig na gustong uh, pumunta dito sa hotel and restaurant industry, ito po yung mga salary uh, na i-expect nyo. Uh, mm -hmm. Ito po ay galing sa 2012 rates. Okay. So, sa NCR po, it's 409 to 446. And then, sa Region 7, we have 260 to 305. Yeah. So, sa Region 1, we have 233 to 253. Region 2, 247 to 255. Region 3, 279 to 330. Okay, Region 4A, 255 to 349. Region 4B, it's 252 to 264. Region 5, 228 to 252. Region 5, it's Region 6 rather, it's 235 to 277. Okay, Region 8 naman, 253. Region 9, 267. Region 10, 271 to 286. Okay. Region 11, yeah. Yes. At sa ARM, 232. So, nakikita nga po natin na kapag nasa city ka, mas mataas talaga yung rate. Oo, kasi madami, madami talaga silang mga guests. Saka siguro dahil sa napakataas ng standard of living. Oo. Pag nasa city ka, of course. Kasi yung expenses mo, kapag dito ka nagtatrabaho, mas mataas kaysa sa probinsya. Itong rates na to, nagbago na kasi nag-boom na rin talaga yung tourism natin from different parts of the country. Like for example, Cebu, Davao, Cagayas, yan de oro yung mga key cities natin i'm sure malaki, malaki na rin talaga yung bigay ng ng industry ito sa mga gustong maging uh, hotel manager sa mga hotel staff 
Kasi ang dami ng activities ngayon, like for example, pag nagbenga or kahit saan ka pumunta all over the all over the country, whole year round, meron talaga tayong festivities. So, ang hotel boom na boom talaga siya ngayon. Ito yung mga nakikita mo parang very posh pag nagtrabaho ka sa hotel, no? Nakikita mo nandun sila like doon sa mga big hotels, mm -hmm. napakagaganda nila, napakagwapo yung mga nasa harap. Anong tawag ba dito? Ito ba yung mga front line? Front line. Uh -oh. Saka meron silang sense of pride kasi tumataas na talaga yung mga sweldo nila. So sa mga estudyante ng hotel and restaurant manage, manage, management, malaki ang opportunity nyo in the next five years. No? Kasi tourism is really, ano eh, is really promoting the hotel. And, uh, and the tourism in the Philippines is really booming. Yeah. Ayan, kasi we're very hospitable daw, di ba? Oo, at saka sa mga nakikinig nga po pala sa Air Labram Systems Group, ang ngayon pong darating na lunes ay meron po tayo tinatawag na open house sa mga gustong mag-apply ng trabaho. Oh. So, gusto, uh, dapat lang po dala-dala nyo yung inyong mga CVs. Oh, yes. Oo, so, open po ang ang office from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. So, hanapin nyo lang po si Lisa Valdez, ang Talent and Acquisition Deployment Manager. Oh, hello, Miss Lisa. Nakikinig si Miss Lisa lagi ah, sa Oo, oh, oh, every Saturdays yan. Oh. Talagang avid listener natin si Lisa. Oh. Wait, kailangan i-promote ko lang yung vlog ko kasi ano sure. na, dami ko na update lately about movies and entertainment and lifestyle. So, sa mga nagbabasa, mahilig ma... Ay, napanood. Anyway, Um, they can visit www.rodmagaro.com for lifestyle and entertainment. And yes, for my personal blog also, oh. I have the only Tribune post that blogspot.com. Mm -hmm. And hi nga pala sa aking a publisher ng the Tribune post, si Sir Nani Cortez. Yeah, Sir na Nani, din. Yes, at isa pa nga pala, Rod, ang kalimutan natin, napakaganda nitong Um, sales kit oh, under ano, Victoria ano, Ford. Na ko, yes, as in ganda. totally distinction. Pakita natin sa mga nag-live stream At talaga sa namang atin. makikita mo ang difference. Ayan. So, nandi dito para talagang pinaghirapan. Very classy. Oh, oh. Very classy. Talagang pinaghirap. Wow. Yes. So, makikita dito yung Ah, okay, this is actually their brochure and mm -hmm. they're calling it as their sales kit. Okay. Makikita itong kanilang mga, yung content, like the customer is king. Yeah, yeah. As in totally. Hi, Ian King. <laughs> okay. Ah, okay, makikita rin dito yung mga rooms na available. Ito yung tinatawag nilang thematic rooms. Oh, nga, na ganda, talaga oh. namang iba't iba. super elegant. Oh, yun yung masasabi ko. Oo, Grace, itong Victor. Ah, review natin. Victoria Hi, Victoria Tanya. Ford. We're very, you know, yeah, uh, open Tanya, arms hello. to review. Ang ganda. Oh. So, Miss Melissa, ano pa yung pwede natin makita dito sa brochure? Bakit, ano, ito lahat to, pinapamigay din nyo talaga? Yes, oh, ito yung daladala ng ating mga marketing uh, okay. staff, no? Whenever they have events, whenever uh, may mga meeting sila, client meeting. So, it features um, the products and services of Victoria Court and also for the other brands. Nandyan po lahat yung amenities insider. Yung makikita mo naman amenities pa lang. Oh, oh, High-end na. Oh. And to think, ah, yung mga nakikinig sa atin ngayon, don't forget po, Victoria Court, hindi lang po yun ang daladala ng kumpanya. Mm -hmm. They even have Best, Best Western, the Hotel La Corona, Manila. And they also have the So Hotel. Yeah. And they have the La Corona de Lipa in Batangas. Yes. So, napakarami. Talaga all of over the Philippines na siya. Galing, no? Mm -hmm, Iba super. Kitang-kita. Nakita ko yung transformation ng Victoria Court from from the past years to to now. Iba na talaga yung ano nila, marketing yan. Ano. Oh, ang galing. Yes, at isa pa, meron silang tinatawag dito na mga cards. Okay, Itong ano card na to is you can enjoy 25% off on regular mm -hmm. stay. With If this, you have that card, automatic discount yan sa room. Oh, Imagine 25%. So, for 1,750 na lang. Oh, di ba? And also, they have this Uh, tinatawag nilang forever ba to? Lifetime. Lifetime uh -oh. membership. Privilege card. Feel the distinction. Ano yung mga nakapaloob na privileges The natin? privilege card is uh, you're entitled to 20% discount in rooms mm -hmm. and then 10% in F&B. So to overall 30% Anak yung nakukuha mong oh. diskwento. That's true. At isa pa nga pala kasama natin kaninang umaga, si Elaine Cedillo uh, okay. of Magold Bird Park at Jess Camp. Ito sa Subic naman to. Okay. Ayan. Anong so, ngayon, actually, nag-i-invite siya sa atin, Rod. Mm -hmm. This coming November 21, alam mo yung Hunger Games? Yeah. Oh, I really naman. love Katniss. I'm done with the book. Natapos ko na lang. Okay. Ito Great. yung Mocking J Part 1. Yes, yes. Oo. So, premiere night, block screening at SM Mega Mall Cinema 5 on November 
November 21 at 7 p.m. 20, 20, November 20. Oo, ginawa na siyang 21. Ah, 21 na pinalitan yes, na. Yes, pinalitan. Okay. So, siguro yung sinabay din sa abroad. Nakita ko kasi yung premiere night talagang 21 yeah, na parang yeah. ganun. So, yes, up for this, what's nice in this um, premiere night is it's for their batch. Mm -hmm. na uh, for teka nandito a fundraising project of Roosevelt College ah, okay. Kainta High School. Ayun naman pala may fundraising. Yes, sila. a batch 1990 for Roosevelt College Alumni Homecoming 2015. Mm -hmm. So sa inyo po na gustong manood, it's only 400 pesos. Okay. Ang inclusion nito may pizza ka. You know from Greenwich, ang ating napakamahal yes, na Greenwich. Yes, mahal, mahal, mahal natin. Mahal na, natin taga yan, tiga Greenwich. They're going to receive one slice. Okay. And then meron pa silang tinatawag ng mga free rides Ay, from Subic Safari. Ay, hindi naman yun ha. Isang slice, busog na ako. Oo oh, oh, naman. Ang, rich, ang sarap talaga ng oh, pizza oh, nila. Oo, lalo na yung crispy nila. Oo, oh, diba? Oo. Oh, oh. So, hi. That would be on November 21. November 21. Yes. Hindi ko ito pakakawalan talaga. Oh, talaga, I really love this movie. Okay, Grace. So, ano ulit? Um, sa mga gusto, mga sumusumubaybay sa atin outside the show, we ha ako, I have a Twitter account, Rod Magaru, and on Instagram, Rod Magaru. Website, www.rodmagaro.com Yes, and sa akin naman po, you can follow me on Twitter. It's nobody but Grace. Mm -hmm. And also, I have the Instagram. It's also under that account. It's uh, nobody but Grace. And also, uh, my, I have two accounts on Facebook. It's Grace Bondad Nicolas. Yeah. At saka sa mga gusto, gusto mag-view ng aking page sa Facebook, ang Rod Magaro Show. Yes. Si Ms. Melissa, meron ka ba ipopromote? Let's Yes, uh, oh, you can for for uh, mga updates no uh -huh. in the events of Victoria Court, you can follow us. Uh, we have uh, Victoria Court PH. Uh, we have a fan page, Best Western Hotel La Corona Manila has also a fan page. So nandun po lahat ng mga events um, and also um, mga discounts no that um, other people are waiting for. Uh -huh. Um I'd also like to uh, announce yung mga job openings okay, so this is the time yes. if you're very interested uh, to join a competitive company such as Victoria Court mm -hmm. who offers over and beyond no um, the requirement of uh, Department of Labor we have openings um, duty managers for Lipa and Manila properties we also have sales manager opening social media um, graphic artist video editor creative writer training officer um, and for other positions or inquiries about careers in Victoria Court, they may send the resume. Send nyo lang po yan sa vcmalate.careers at victoriacourt.biz Yes, ayun ang napakaganda ang dito sa jobs. ating show. Let's oh. talk about career. Tayo yung nakakapagbigay talaga ng trabaho. Okay, one more yung saan nila isasend ulit. Yes. Yes. Oo, oh, oh, yan. Sa mga resumes or inquiries tungkol po sa mga trabaho o mga openings ng kumpanya, uh, email uh, us at vcmalate.careers at victoriacourt.biz Oo, maraming maraming salamat sa Thank you then for Melissa. giving us a chance Thank you to so share. Thank you so much, Melissa. Dami ko rin natutunan ngayon sa, ano, Me sa, too. sa HR and industry. Yes. So, next week ulit, pero ulitin natin yung mga sa mga gusto sumali o makis... Uh, ma, uh, <laughs> paano ba ito? Sa mga gusto gustong tumawag sa atin tumawag. at makinig mm -hmm. at sa, para sa susunod nating show yeah, this coming Saturday. Yeah, pwede sila mag-text sa 0998-975-1368, landline 861-6947. Okay, at sa mga gusto pong manood, it's yes, www.radiouno.com.ph and 46 days before oh Christmas. Oh my God, 46 days before Christmas. Ang bilis na yan. I man. know, nakapag-shopping ka na ba? Hindi pa eh. <laughs> Gusto ko sabay-sabay siya, isang bultuhan as in. Oo nga. So, Nako, I'm sure this Christmas, may mga ipapamigay tayo dito. Napakarami so, natin ipamimigay. Come December, kailangan oh. abangan ng mga listeners yung ipapamigay natin. That's true, that's true. Okay, again, 46 days before Christmas. Nako, wala na tayong oras, Grace, pero next week, Ya ano sa atin sa Twitter at Facebook yung susunod na industry natin. At so bye bye po kayo sa aming Twitter. Ano ulit yung ating Twitter Twitter account? natin ay Career Talks DCME. Sa Facebook naman yun then Career Talks at DCME. And we also upload this video. Um, I-share namin yung link sa aming Facebook sa Twitter account. So siguro tonight or later or tomorrow the very least. Yes. So wag niyo pong kalimutan this is Let's Talk About Career. This is Grace Bondad Nicolas. Ako, this is Rod Magaro. Nako. Maraming maraming salamat po sa mga nakinig at ito po ang Let's Talk About Career. Thank you so much. Thank you.
Kung walang makuhang trabaho base sa kursong tinapos mo, subukan natin. Baka ikaw ay may kaalaman sa ibang profesyon. It's worth a try. Let's talk about career.